Good evening. Good evening. And, and how are you? I'm I'm well. How are you tonight? Good. Good. Great. Um, I I understand we're going to take a little we're going to take a little trip to the the eastern Mediterranean again, or the southeastern right. Mediterranean, I suppose. Yep. So so it looks like uh, the the last few battles here in this expansion, we're going to get a little taste of some some different conflicts in this region in this time period. Tonight we're gonna we're gonna pick up a little battle that follows the the War of the Dadaki, which we uh, fought over about a month ago, and this time we are gonna pick up with the great great grandchildren of of those original Dadaki. So this will be Antiochus the Third and Ptolemy the Fourth as they uh, guide their respective empires. So uh, so let's set the scene here. The Seleucid Empire was the largest of Alexander's old empire to remain intact. That's the, the, the region that basically from Babylon all the way out to the Indus Valley in India. And that has now come under the control of, of Antiochus IV. And at this point, he's only 18 years old. And as soon as he comes to power, he sets about trying to... Uh, regain territory his empire has lost over the years, put his house in order, and, and really make a, a go of it. Conversely, Ptolemy the Fourth, when he comes to power, he immediately cleans house, murdering anybody else in his family who might have a claim to the throne, and then, in in standard spoiled rich kid fashion, completely ignores the job and decides that he's just going to party. So, two very different young men leading their respective empires. Antiochus, he wants some of that western territory that they originally had back. He wants that Mediterranean coastline. So he begins pushing in towards an area that they call Cato Syria, or something like that. That, but basically, it, it's today what what is like, like the Gaza Strip, and and Jordan and all that stuff there are along the coastline. Prior to that, as I said, he had uh, got his house in order, dealt with some rebellious governors, and had really made a name for himself as a a brilliant but untested general. So as soon as he starts pushing towards the west, one of Ptolemy's generals, a man by the name of Theodosius, had basically just had already seen enough of Ptolemy and his antics. So when Antiochus comes knocking, he decides, you know what? I'm not going to fight this guy. In fact, I'm going to throw in with him. So he switches sides, brings his forces over to the Seleucids, and they start to secure some of that coastline, and they start working their way down the coast towards Egypt. Now, luckily for Ptolemy, he's got a couple of, of powers behind the throne, some schemers who are really kind of calling the shots while this kid goofs around. And so basically, one of his advisors, a guy by the name of Sosibius, decides he's going, he, he sees what's coming and realizes that uh, this could be trouble. So he starts to make preparations for war. The first thing he does is he sends out envoys to the Seleucids to negotiate a peace. He knows that this has no chance of success. This is simply just a delaying tactic while they can get their act together. He orders all of their mercenaries working out around the Mediterranean to come back to, to Alexandria to assemble a new army. He also sends out recruiters to bring even more mercenaries into the fold. And he enlists three or four veterans to train this this army into one cohesive unit. And the other thing he does, which the Ptolemaics really hadn't done for quite some time, is they train a very large contingent of native Egyptians, over 20,000 of them. And they drill them all and train them all in the classic Macedonian fighting style originated by Philip and Alexander. So while all this is going on in Alexandria, so Sibius is entertaining 
their envoys over in Memphis. So they have no idea they have this large army being built. Eventually, those talks break down, more because Antiochus is like, I'm winning. Why do I need to negotiate for peace? I'm going to keep going. It's at this point that Ptolemy realizes, oh, I've been goofing around too much, and I'm going to lose my shirt here. So he takes command of the army he's been given and sallies forth to meet Antiochus. In Antiochus' march down towards Gaza, he encounters some more Ptolemaic generals who decide that, you know what? I kind of like the color of your jib, young man. And I think he picks up like two or three more defectors to join his army. Eventually, they meet at Rapia, which is present-day uh, Raphia in the Gaza Strip. Um, so this battle um, is also known as the Battle of Gaza, but is also more colorfully known as the Battle of Elephants. Because if you'll notice, on the board, this is the first time we've got elephants, I think, on both sides of the board for the same at the same time. No, we, we've, we've done this before. Oh, yeah, we've um, had elephants on both sides. Uh, historically, what this is, is this is one of the first documented clashes between African elephants and Indian elephants in each respective army. So the Ptolemaics have African elephants smaller, faster. The Seleucids have Indian elephants, bigger, tougher creatures. And when they fight, it got really messy because imagine you're watching a BBC documentary with they're just giant bulls just slamming into each other in the midst of all these little guys running around their legs with swords and spears. Like, it was a hellacious mess. On the eve of battle, the the two armies set up and camp barely a half a mile away from each other. So already they're squabbling over watering holes and wells and firewood. You know, so they're breaking up fights amongst the armies. I, I, it's almost like a scene out of Dr. Strange, like, no, 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 there's no fighting on the battlefield uh, until the day when they actually decide they're going to fight. So you can see here how, how the forces are arraigned. Um, and the order of battle is basically those forces there in the middle uh, on the Ptolemaic side, those are mostly those Egyptian pikemen. And then on the wings, you've got the cavalries and the elephants. What happens during the battle is Antiochus leads the charge from what we're looking at here as at the right flank. And again, this map is upside down. <laughs> he'll charge through, hit that Ptolemaic flank, and he'll just start kicking butt. Unfortunately for him, he gets too wrapped up in his own personal victories to realize that his far left flank is crumbling under the Ptolemaic um counterattack. Ptolemy sees what's going on, and he's got a little bit more situational awareness in this fight than Antiochus does. And once he starts cleaning up on his right flank, he abandons it, goes back to his center to rally his forces, and because, even though he's a rich jagoff, he inspires his troops, and you've got 20,000 Egyptians with, with long pikes who just lower them down and start marching into that Seleucid line. And that whole line starts to break down. At this point, Antiochus realizes what's happening. Even though he's winning on his flank, he sees the rest of his army crumbling, and he has no choice but to call a retreat and withdraw from battle. The immediate aftermath of this is they basically negotiate a little bit of a, a treaty. The Sleuths get to keep some of the territory they gained, but Antiochus gets distracted by some rebellions back in the eastern portion of his empire, and he can no longer press uh, his gains in the west. The Ptolemaics, unfortunately, given that they've just trained 20,000 locals in the way of, of war, once the mercenaries leave, they're only left with the local oppressed forces who realize, hey, we know the, how to fight now. Why are we listening to these guys? And they revolt. And they actually will wind up forming a small kingdom uh, I think called Northern Egypt. That's going to last about 20 years and be a bit of a thorn in the side of, of Ptolemy for a while. 
we might see Antiochus again. He is going to be, I think, one of the last big dominoes to fall as the Romans expand in their in their forces. But you know, basically, he'll become the champion of the Greeks, trying to hold back Roman aggression in the expansions of the Roman Empire. Because right now, I think time wise, we are basically caught up to where we were before. Because while all this is going on, this is when the Romans and the Carthaginians. Are yeah. fighting. Yeah, the second the second Punic War is, is underway. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so that's where we're at. That is the 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 Battle of the Elephants, as it's so called. called. Fantastic. Um, well, just looking at the board right now, with the eight banners, this is as we like to call potentially a slobber knocker. Um, this this was one of the biggest battles of the period, and it's it's not really, I, I guess, because the the at the time, you know, these were, you know, young guys, you know, they weren't, they didn't really go on to any immediate success after this, and nothing really came immediately of this battle, um, but this was one of the biggest battles of, of, of the, that century, right? There's a lot, of, there's a lot here. The Ptolemaics, you see that little group of warriors up there? Those are going to be Thracians, um, Thracian mercenaries uh, from Greece. And they are the only ones who were not armed and trained in the traditional Macedonian style of combat. They are going to race forward in the battle using their swords and shields as the barbarians they are. What's interesting about this, I, I've opened up the the war council for this, is that it's it's relatively simple and relatively balanced just on paper. Both sides, uh, I'm going to start as the Ptolemaics for the first game, and Peter will play the Seleucids. Uh, we're both going to have five command cards, and there are no special terrain, there's no special rules, we're just slugging it out to eight banners tonight. So there's, it's deceptively simple, I think, but uh, that's, that's usually when we find we have the most grueling card choices to, to craft our strategy around. There's not much to say about the War Council. Here's five cards. Go kill something. That's it. Mm-hmm. That's it. Well, let's get underway. Oh, I, I did not mention that uh, the, the, the bottom edge of the map, the Seleucids, Peter, will go first as Antiochus. So why don't you draw your cards first, and we will get All underway. Right. And as always, good luck to you, sir. Thank you. Good luck to you as well. Thank you. All right, so I will grab my five cards. Let me arrange my card window. Two, three, four, and five. And off you go. Indeed. Um, And we've got quite the the smorgasbord of units here, um, including heavy cavalry, which we don't ever really see a lot of in our games. And it looks looks really balanced between the two forces. I you counted. There's. I think you have uh, six. You have five. You have five heavies on your side, and I have six. So on paper, I have one extra heavy. So will that be a deciding factor, or are they just glass cannons, and they're just going to fall down because they're Egyptian elephants? Maybe. Maybe. All right. So let's see what we could do here. I think. I will send Antiochus into battle along with four units. So I really do need to hire somebody to be a, a a very monotone, hushed narrator for this. Oh, I see Peter is opening with the right flank gambit. That's very challenging. Let's see if he can make it work. Alright. So um everything except Medium cavalry can move two. All right, I'll throw a spear at your elephants. Nothing. Rats. Oh well. Well, my okay. mice or rats would have helped, but yeah. All right. Okay, how do we counter this threat? So that that uh that first general who defected um, when the Seleucid king came west um, on the eve of this battle, 
he actually snuck into the Ptolemaic camps because they were so close together and tried to assassinate Ptolemy. But fortunately, he, he went into the wrong tent and wound up killing the wrong guy <laughs> and then hijacked it out of there. We will activate our light troops. Mm -hmm. And I can activate five, so I will activate those five. And we'll just chuck a bunch of missile weapons here and see what uh, what we can do. Um, we'll start with the light bow here first. Do you want to do anything on the right flank first? Oh, yes, I do need to move. Excuse me, thank you. Uh, there and... There. Thank you. All right, so we'll start over here. Um, we'll target your elephants with the arrows and oh. get two dice. And we have a potential rampage situation here. So, um, starting with your lights, two dice, uh, nothing, and Antiochus himself, nothing. Okay. Then these guys will just target there with two dice. And we get a retreat. On this side over here, we'll target that elephant with one die. Nothing. And light bows, same target, one die. And another potential squish. All right, so the lights on the far left next to the elephant, they're first. Okay. Nothing. Uh, then opposite side of the elephant, two. Nothing. And then lights behind. Nothing. Okay. They are all very agile and able, able to get out of the way of the rampaging Indian elephant. So he takes a step back. Oh, he does, doesn't he? Yes. There we go. And that is all. All right. I'm going to attempt to outflank you. Activate two units on each flank. Those units. All right. Brave, brave Antiochus, into the fray! All right, so over here first, medium cavalry will attack your light infantry. Uh, I think they'll evade. Okay. Three dice. Oh. All right. That's what we all came here to see. Elephants versus elephants. This will be three dice. Not a thing I could do about it. Other yeah. than a first strike, of course, but... Yeah. All right, here we go. Three dice. Go. Mm. Rampage. Ah. All right. Uh, why don't you go ahead and do yours first, and then I'll try to squish the elephant. All right. Um, so, against your light infantry, two dice. Nothing. And then against your light bowmen, squish. Squish. All right, and against the elephant, nothing. And he takes a step back. Come on right. in. The water's fine. Um. Yes, I think I will advance and battle, and uh, go after the elephants again with three dice. Okay. Three dice back, and get a hit. Boo! And Antiochus will try to run down the light bowmen. Hmm. I think they will evade. Okay, this will be four dice. With a hit. Two 
units on the left. Okay. Those two. Okay. Um, start with elephant versus Antiochus. <sighs> That sound means it's working. <laughs> Here is uh, four dice. I'm gonna evade. Oh, come on! Running away. All right, four dice. Red squares only. Ah, good evade. Okay. Um. Hmm. Yeah. The medium cavalry will attempt to go after the elephant. Hopefully okay. trap it, trapping him. So here's three dice. Um, and so you get to ignore all swords, and the first red, and the first flag. Yep. Okay. So you need some multiples. Uh, so you know. nothing. Wow. Well, nothing. That's not all good. Right. That's no bueno. So uh, three dice coming back at you. Two swords. Oh. Roll two more dice. No. Oh. With another sword yeah. and a triangle. I can't believe I cut myself <laughs> off. Oh. All right. Them. Um, and that is all for that failed attempt. All right. Back to you. Well, we've got elephants loose in the compound. I'm going to activate three units on my left flank. All right. So, elephant is going to go one, two. Medium cavalry is going to go up there. And the light bowmen are going to stay where they're at. We're going to lobby a hail of arrows. Those bowmen, two dice, and force a retreat. Hmm. Okay, so back one and suffer a loss. Okay. Elephants are going to attack the light infantry with two dice. Um, they will stand. Okay. Squish. I'm not going to advance. A medium cavalry will attack your elephants with three dice. Okay. More one of those. Okay. So. And uh, three dice back. So four hex retreat. Excellent. Three. Well, it's one more because it's a cavalry spooked by the elephant. Oh, that's right. You're right. You're right. I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hmm. Coordinate. Work together, boys. One unit and or leader in each section. Warriors. You're damn right. The Thracians come into play. Uh, elephant. We'll have some more hot elephant action here. Uh, we'll start over on my left flank. Do that. So, three dice against your elephant. A retreat. Yes. All right. I'll roll for your cavalry, your light infantry first. Squish. Okay. And your own elephants. Squish. Ah. That shouldn't work against other elephants. Well, they get their big paws up there and, you know, 
And they're tus and doing tusks, and, you know, it's yeah. it's elephants fighting elephants, of course. Alright, um, so I forced a retreat, so I can pursue and battle again. So we advance, and we'll sh take another shot. Three dice. Oh, come on! Alright, three dice coming back at ya. Um... So ignore swords to get rolled against elephants. Right. So two retreats. <laughs> All right. So here is uh, your elephant rampage squish first. Nothing. And then on your infantry. Ah. Squish. This is not going well. People on people watching are like, a oh, duh. All right. Try. It. Uh, okay. All right. Fine. Elephants versus Indian elephants. First, we will do some warriors against your elephants. Okay. So they're gonna get four dice. Mm -hmm. All right. And one hit. That's better. so a hit there. Now elephants battling back against the warriors only get to roll three dice. Oh, good. And, uh, nothing. and then the light bowman will shoot two arrows to see if they can't bring down the elephant. And miss. Alright. So not so much coordination as meh. Alright, back to you. I'm going to order my heavy troops. Okay, so over here, I'm going to go after your elephant with three dice. Nothing. Well, I'll retreat. Okay, um, so here is the rampage on your elephant first. Nothing. All right, against your warriors. Nothing. And against your heavy cavalry. Squish. Uh, hit. Check Eshikratos. Uh, oh yeah. He's fine. Okay. So, he el elephant squish. moves back. Uh, press it. Okay. I'm gonna go after your heavy cavalry. Alright. Um, you can evade against an elephant. Um, I'm gonna stand. Four dice, then? Yeah. Yeah, nice. And I can ignore both of them. Which I shall. Ooh. Yeah, here comes four dice back plus leader bonus. Mm. Two retreats. Okay, well, I get to ignore one. Right. Oh, but cannot ignore the others. So, let's roll two dice for the attacking forces, the attacking cavalry. They're fine. The nearby elephants. Yeah. And the <laughs> good good order. Yeah. All right. Warriors take a hit. Damn. Lose their ability. Oh well. Okay. Actually, it was two flags, right? Uh, but you get to ignore one because of the horse. Take, take you can you can you, you can choose to take both of them. I think I will. Yeah. Okay, over here. Elephants attacking your light cavalry. Which may evade. Um. Yeah, because they're on the wing there, they better. Two dice. Yeah. Hit and a retreat. But. Good evade. But we evaded. Okay. And then over here, heavy cavalry attacking your light infantry. Um. Yeah, they better evade too. Okay, four dice with leader bonus. Doesn't count. Just, just Good evade. Yeah. Just one hit. Just Otherwise, they would have been wiped out. Alright. Flying command. Ugh. I 
Hello, medium infantry. Yes. Um, and I think... I think the, uh, the warriors would have gone... Let's see. They would have gone here instead. <clears throat> Just act as a screen. All right. <clears throat> so... Um, we will attack the elephants over here with four dice. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> well, that... We know how to push them back. We sure do. All right. Uh, two dice for your medium infantry. Oof. Nothing for the troubles. All right. Um, and then the bowmen over here. They moved, and they will take a shot at... What's going on here? What's the matter? Oh, it's just that, you know, the weirdness of the stacking. Uh, yeah. They will take a shot at Nicharchus, Nicharchus, uh, with one die. Okay. They get nothing. So that is, as they say, all... I'm going to launch a coordinated attack of my own. You feel lucky? Uh, well, I feel like I should press what I've got while I can. So it'll be those units. I'll simply just move up. Element will charge Antiochus. Charge. Alright, over here. Elephant attacking your heavy cavalry. They may evade. And they'll stand. Okay, four dice. Damn. Swish. If I get my foothold, you're a dead man. <laughs> Just saying. But I don't think I'm going to get my foothold. Because you got me on my back heel the whole time. Um, Alright, give me a leader check. Right. Nope. We're away. Yep. So he will go there. And, uh, yeah, come on in. I'm going to go after your elephant with three dice. Okay. Squish. Hmm. Over here, going after your light infantry with four dice. Okay, nothing I can do about it. Well, got it. And, uh, advance, and battle again. Four dice against your elephant. Okay. Leader. Yep. Leader hit. There you go. You are killing me tonight. Look at that. Six nothing so far. Mm. <sighs> okay. Elephant's doing the work. Yeah. Elephant's, which, I which, can't. Uh, yeah, I can't believe it. We, we never have any success with. I guess. I guess they. Uh, they were paying attention. Yeah. And heard all that war of the elephant stuff, and so they would. They were going to step up. All right. So then we will seize the opportunity here to outflank those four. So, light bow. That's bold. Yes. Yeah, oh, I see what you're doing. All right. No, that's smart. Okay. Light bow against Antiochus. Um, Good luck. Two dice. I need two I need double flags. flags. Double flags. Oh, oh. One flag. Just the one. Okay. I'll ignore it. All right. Um, and then Ishikratis. You want to do the light cavalry? They might get double flags. Well, just, just give me. I'm, I'm taking it in steps. Okay. Ishikratis right. over here against your elephants. Uh, three dice plus leader bonus. Um, they, yeah, take these. No, damn it. I'll ignore one sword. No, or they I get to ignore all one. swords. From, like, yeah. Damn it. All right, this is, yeah. Against the warriors, three dice. Nothing. 
Okay. Um, and the light cav, uh, so they're going to keep you boxed in. Okay. That was a good card. I'm going to use the same one. Okay. Counter attack. Okay. So, those four units. All right, elephants attacking your auxilia with three dice. Okay. Two swords. You need to get to roll two more dice. Another sword for a total of three hits. Okay. I thought you got to keep rolling the swords. Oh, I do. Okay. And it's red square. Three hits. All right. And three dice back. <laughs> All right. A retreat. All right. Two dice for the auxilia. Damn it. Oh, boy, oh, boy. And then two dice for the warriors. They are good to go. All right. Uh, I'll go that way. Um, yeah, that's fine. And over here. Against your light bow. Four dice. That's game. Good job. Blanked, wow. blanked me. Eight. <laughs> it hurts, man. That's. You just. Uh, well, I mean, you, you went against what I thought you were going to do because I thought you were going against Eshocratus and I had the first strike and I just got it. And I was about to finally take that elephant out, and I was, I was just gonna slowly, methodically, if I could just hold on a couple more turns, just work my way out of the hole. But um, I, you just had depleted everyone so much that when you when you did that, and I knew Antiochus was gonna get up there and just mop up, that yeah, it was it was borrowed time, and I just couldn't <laughs> I couldn't do anything about it. Um, so good, very very well played, very well done. The Alaf, it was just good rolls and good elephants. You know? Oh yeah. I mean, well, I mean, we're, we're, they're starting to get some esteem now because the, yeah. they won this battle for you. More, more when when, when you wind up rolling flags on them right. than anything else. Right. So. Oh boy. Okay. Um. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna take uh, five minutes here to walk this off and uh, and <laughs> try to figure out what I can do to utilize the elephants so well as Seleucid um, forces. Usually our second game is a lot slower, because I think mistakes have been made, and tactics have been shifted. So, good on you! See you after the break. Okay. <laughs> Alright, for those of you just joining us after the halftime, I'd like to introduce myself. Uh, I am the 1975 Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and that's Peter. <laughs> the 1972 oh. Miami Dolphins. Uh. <laughs> right now, our European friends are going, Qua? Um. <laughs> All right. As we do each and every week, we have switched sides now, and uh, it certainly can't get any worse. So here we go. I'm going to get my five cards, hopefully best cards ever. They are some cards. All right. All right. Seleucids do go first. Um, the card tells me what it wants, so the card will get what it wants. We will inspire the right flank with the leader. And four adjacent hexes. Mm. You got some, some pretty nice adjacent hexes there. I do. So I think we're going to do either that, 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 and that. There we go. All right, so light cab to there. Bowman will step up. Elephants will come around. Antiochus will come up to there. 
and yes, I think we'll do that. That should do. All right, our light bowmen have a shot at your elephants, so they will take one die, get nothing, and then the light cavalry is right against your lights, so we're going to try them. Okay. They are trapped, so two dice. They page, so they will stand fast. And, oh, if only I could get Antiochus into range. Oh. And take a hit in return. Okay. Uh, that is all. This aggression cannot stand. What are those units to retaliate? Okay. Light Bowman. Let loose against your light cavalry with two dice. Another hit and a retreat. You are on fire tonight. Let's go for the jugular. Mm. Elephant against your heavy cavalry with four dice. Because why not? It's been working fantastic. Go! Not this time. Uh, not this time. All right. Come on, dice. Go cold. Here's four dice with leader. Not me. Him. <laughs> uh, uh, <that's> it. <laughs> I think we have to ask ourselves at this point, why do I play these games? It's it's because clearly the dice are... Ah, all right. Positivity. Positivity. I do believe in the power of positivity. All right. We're going to go with three units on my right. There you go. Press it. Press it. You know what to do. I do know what to do. Oh, well, that works too. So, first the elephant against your mediums. Four dice. Three hits. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. Four dice to retaliate. A retreat. Mm. Squish City. All right. So we got a bunch of things to start here. So right. against your, uh, against the one that attacked them, they would put paws up and see if they can squish okay. them. So two dice against your mediums. No. Okay. Two against the medium cavalry. Okay. No. no. Uh, two against light bow. Okay. No. Uh, and two against your elephant. No, because there are no streaks in the dust. Best die roller. All right. And two against your medium cavalry. No. Retreat one. So there we go. All right. Now. Let us go with Antiochus against the elephants. Four dice plus leader bonus, uh, ignoring swords, and one hit and one retreat. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, this is a <laughs> just unbelievable. Four dice to retaliate. Uh, a retreat. You can take or ignore. I will ignore. And then finally, um, all right, this is gonna kill me. It's literally gonna kill me. But uh, I w I've got to try with the medium cav. So three dice plus leader bonus. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh gosh! All right. <laughs> Hit and a retreat. Right. So I think that's going to do it, but go ahead and roll the other. Oh, you get out there. Yeah. Okay, so uh, the, here's the hits and the block retreat. Boom, boom. So there you go. Okay. All right. Uh, anything that can will go wrong. So that is all. Sorry. No, 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 go ahead. Elephant against your heavy cavalry with six dice. <laughs> so two retreats. 
Yeah. Hits currently. So go ahead and take the two hits again. <laughs> so. Forget it. Oh, man. All right. <laughs> Poor Antiochus. He's fine. Oh, boy. He's fine. Hooray. <laughs> Uh, he's going to go all the way back to there. The medium cavalry will attack the elephant as well with five dice. Yep. <laughs> all right. You get to one of those hits. All right. Okay. But there are two retreats. Uh, and I get to ignore one flag. So, because um, it's cavalry. So, here is the roll for your medium cavalry. Nope. And for your elephant. Nope. And then for your light bowman. All right. Um, I don't know why I upgraded Vassal tonight. Die roller did not improve. <laughs> right. Uh, I'm going to take both of those retreats, however. Did you want to pursue and continue? Oh, um... Please do. <laughs> Advance. Move one. Battle again. We'll play normal battle dice for three dice against your elephant. Another retreat. Okay, uh, they do not get support, so they rampage. Um, all right. So here's your medium cavalry. Nothing. Okay. Against your light bowman. Against Antiochus. And against your light infantry. Everybody glad, like. glad it was in that order. Uh, all right. So he will fall back and join Antiochus. Now I'm done. Two in the center. Mm -hmm. So, would you wish to evade? Uh, I would. Okay. So, five dice, triangles only. Now, yeah. curse of X minus one. Back to you. Gonna go two on the left. You know, like at the end of Watchmen, spoilers, you know, <laughs> when Rorschach's just like, do it! Do it! That's kind of like what this is. Right. Elephant against your heavy infantry. Okay. Five dice. <laughs> so that's three hits. Two Treats. Oh, go ahead and take you. Yeah, four hits. Four there you go. <laughs> this is great. Go ahead. Five dice. Uh, two hits so far. That's it. Okay. Two hits. Yeah, you take the carcass. Give him a little check. And five dice back. Leader bonus. Oh, we finally bring an elephant down. All right. Three dice against your light bowman. Stand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. This is just... <laughs> Two. Three. Four, five, six. Continue. <laughs> Advance. Move one. Battle again. Three dice. Uh, nothing. Because I use oh, yeah. the sword. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, 
three dice back. Uh, I don't ignore the sword. So, so yeah. Say. Ah, yay. I killed something. Ray. You killed two things. I know. I'm just, I'm in awe of the, <laughs> the dice roller, as always. All right. Let me look at the battlefield. Let me look at the cards. Do a line command. And it will be these guys. Coordinate an attack. Those guys. Alright, two dice against your auxilia. Nothing. Order my light troops up to five. Order my light troops as well. Okay. So this light cavalry will throw a javelin at your light cavalry. Light bowman will attack that light infantry. Okay. Hit. The uh, light infantry will uh, attack it as well. Melee. Two dice. Nothing. And light cavalry will attack the light infantry. Okay. Two dice. You can evade if you want. Nope. Not. Two dice back. Hit. Okay. I'm going to order medium troops. Mm. Those two. You got a medium in the center too. I do, but he's he's kind of integral right at the at the moment. Uh oh. In your light cav. All right, I'll stand. Okay, three dice. One hit. Two dice back. Nothing. All right, that is all. Mounted charge. Over here, light cavalry against your elephant. So that's going to be three dice. Nothing. Two dice back. Nothing. Light cavalry attacking your light infantry. Okay. Three dice. So we ignore one and we have to take the other. So that is that. Elephants went after your medium cavalry. Oh, uh, yeah, we'll evade. Okay. Four dice. Nothing. I'm going to do something stupid. So I should have done this when I wiped out the guys. Um, I'm going to advance with that cavalry and go after that elephant. Okay. With three dice. Nothing. Okay. Uh, two dice back. 
Gonna retreat. I need some divine inspiration here, so I will stand on the hilltop and yell, I'm Spartacus, with five dice. <laughs> yeah, that's about right. Alright, um, well, yeah, I'm only going to activate one. So, I'll just punch him right up the gut there. Four dice. So here's four dice. Uh, ignore, ignore, ignore. Yeah. So there you go. Three dice back. Okay. Roll that again. Get another hit. Right. Nope. Two hits. All right. Uh, that is all. Spartacus was. Ah, yes. Whoops. Shuffle and draw. Okay. Cartoon it's on the right. Okay, go out to your cavalry. Okay. Go for it. One of eight? Nah. Three dice. Could have evaded that. Uh, if I had evaded, you would have rolled rolled three uh, triangles anyway. So <laughs> it's just not my night. All right, keep going. Two dice. Nothing. All right, two dice back. Nothing. Heavy cavalry. Uh, four dice. Uh, they'll evade. Darkening the skies. Okay. All right, so that should be 16 dice. Let's see if I can misbehave here. Uh, against your elephant first. Two dice. Okay. No. Once again. Two more dice. One hit. Okay. Alright, um, light bow here against your, uh, might as well go, f go big, uh, two dice at general, one hit. Okay. Here's his leader check, he's okay. Second volley, another hit. And here's his other leader check. There's one. Okay. Alright. Um, this guy here can only go against the lights. So, loose. Two hits. Two more. No. Okay. And then these guys over here. Two dice. Retreat. Last shot is wasted. All right. That is all. Three on the right. All right. Elephants on elephants. All right. Three dice. Nothing. Okay. Three dice back. Wipe them out. Yes, your auxilia. Four dice. Uh, okay. One hit. One hit. Okay. Three dice back. Against your auxilia. Two dice. Nothing. Three dice back. One hit. That's a good card. Counter attack. Three nice. units on your left flank. Hmm. All right. Start with 
with the elephants. Yeah, you make it. Well, okay. What's that? I would have moved the elephant up two spaces to get on the other side of my heavy cavalry just in case you roll a retreat. Yes. Destroy me. Yes. But. Yes. That's okay. Okay. You don't want to. Yeah, so four dice. I, oh. I'm going to evade that. Okay, yeah. Figured. Um, okay, four dice. Good of eight. Mm. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. All right. Three dice. Green circles. And then he will throw a spite spear. Nope. All right. That was, yes, that was probably a mistake, but what the hey. Activate three on the right. Those three. Okay. Uh, outflanked. Auxilia will just fire. Okay. So the Auxilia will take a sh shot first. Auxilia against your heavy cavalry. Two dice. Okay. Nothing. And then uh, the elephants. Okay. So f four dice. No. All right. Um, that is all. Two on the right. Heavy cavalry charging into your elephants with four dice. There you go. One hit. One hit. Oh, that's right. It's only one. All right. Four dice back. Can he do it with the Warriors? Always leave it to the Warriors. They're fresh. Their beards are braided. Four dice. Fresh antlers. Nothing. No, just a retreat. Just a retreat. Okay. But you can attack and battle again. Or advance and battle again. Okay. I'll go after the same auxilia with four dice. Okay. Uh, a hit and two retreats. Take one of those. Leadership any section. Warriors first. Four dice. One hit. Four dice to return. Nothing. Okay. Um, Auxilia will throw a single spear at them. Get a hit. Okay. And that is all. Left leadership. I'll just use it to activate one unit. And attack your elephant with three dice. Okay. Mm -hmm. Three back. Uh, three back. Okay. Three dice against your warriors. Hmm. The retreat is blocked. Excellent. That 
is all. Two on the left. Attacking your elephant with two dice. Okay. Ah, there it is. Done. You made quite the comeback, though. I was getting concerned. Well, yeah. You know. I was trying to make it make it honest. But, uh, yeah, 6 8 is better than 8 0. <laughs> wow. So, what are our thoughts on this one? I, uh, I mean. Final score is 16 to 6. Uh, so I, I I do feel you know this one feels like it's pretty balanced. It, it was a, as a a nice one-off game, you know. Um, I just I got I I I, I was lucky tonight. So. Yeah, you you seem to have exactly the cards you needed for the sections that you needed, and, uh, <laughs> and in the... both games I never had anything in the center. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I've got a leadership any section card right now, but that's about it. You know, they were all, in both games, they were all flank cards. Yeah. You know, or special cards. Uh, how could I not look at this and just say with every dice, for the most part, that I was throwing, I just couldn't hit the broadside of a barn. Um, but you were also, you are making very good attacks, especially with your elephants, making it very difficult for my cavalry to do anything against them. Yeah, just going, softening the wings both times. Just uh, staying out of the center. All, because all, of, yeah, because you didn't have the center cards. Yep, so. they could never move the center in both games. But so. you certainly made it very effective. Uh, so, wow. The, the folks at home heard me just giggling like an idiot because after a while it's like, okay, um, statistically I should at least hit one on four or five dice, but maybe not. Maybe, maybe my view of the universe is askew. You were uh, hitting fine. Uh, no, it's, it's it's a good one. Uh, definitely, it seemed. I mean, obviously, you you got eight banners on both sides, so it's certainly not a balance issue at all. Uh, it's a player issue. I just uh, I don't even know what happened on the first game. I mean, you just got such a good lead so fast. There was there was nothing I could do to to scratch you, you know. But uh, I, I wonder if it would be different on the table, face to face, with uh, with dice. I don't know. I can't blame the dice all the time, but it sure feels like I can. Uh, when I, especially when I go back and I watch these in editing, I was like, ah, geez, and I get excited again. Ah, no, you know, <laughs> I get my hopes up, and then oh, but uh, this is a good one. So what what do we got next? Well. We, we are going to uh, skip ahead, um, and we're going to do a bit of a, a coda to um, our last campaign okay. um, with the Romans. Synosophily. Like, hmm. Yes. Synosophily. Uh, at this point, the Macedonian power is waning. They decide to throw their lot in with Hannibal. Oh, that's um, right. Yes. And support support the, uh, the Carthaginians. Carthaginians in their campaign, but uh, with the Carthaginians defeated, looks like Rome is going to try and get some measure of revenge. <laughs> yeah. I shall so have I look my forward revenge. To all about it next week. Yeah, that's right. Revenge! Uh, revenge! Revenge me! Well, as per usual, we hope you've enjoyed watching this uh, jaunt this evening for uh, our tour of the battlefield of raffia and if you would like to continue to see these show up in your youtube subscription all you have to do is click that little subscribe button right below the screen or in the lower right there where it says subscribe uh, but most importantly we love the interaction with you guys so if you have comments uh, or just gut laughs and chuckles that you would like to share with us after you watch these please you know, the comment section is there for your benefit and uh Yes, as Peter pointed out, I, I made a critical error there with not moving that elephant to surround that heavy cavalry. Would that have made, was that the game changer for this particular second game? Eh, maybe. I don't know. We're, we're glad you're here. We hope you enjoy it. And, uh, yeah, keep coming back, right? 
Let's hope so. Let's hope so. Okay, well, we will see you all here next week for Synosophile. See, I said it. Hooray. Uh, have a good evening, and uh, we'll see you next time. Good night. Good night.